In this video I'm going to show you how to use the vector art Photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open up your photo, you simply fill in your side with a color and display the action. Right, so here's the effect that the action creates. So as you can see what the action does, it transforms the photo into the vector style and the results that you get are fully layered. So there is a lot of options for customizing the results that you get. Uh, the text here is also the uh, fully editable text layer. And the action also creates uh, even four D preset color logs that you can choose from. All right, so let me just close these two windows now. So before you use the action, there are just a few things that you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing you should check is that your photo is a background layer, so it should be called background and have this little lock icon. So if you have something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, and choose background from layer. Then click on this main icon over here and choose panel options. And just make sure that this option here, the add copy to copy layers groups is checked. Then go to image mode and make sure your photo is the RGB color mode 8 bit count. You can also check the image size from here. So for best results, you should use the images that are uh, somewhere between 25 and 40 hundred pixels wide or high. All right. So now to load the action, just go to window actions. Click on this menu icon over here, load actions and just choose the action load and the action will appear in your actions panel. Now to load the brushes you can just hit B in your keyboard, right click anywhere inside the canvas, click on the gear icon, load brushes and just select the brushes file that can be download, choose load. All the brushes will appear here in your brushes panel. Then choose the pattern stamp tool from here, click on, the, on this arrow icon over here, gear icon, load patterns and just select the patterns file that can be downloaded, just load and there will be one pattern loaded here then choose the custom shape tool click on this little arrow here, gear icon, load shapes and just load the vector shapes file that can be downloaded and there will be one shape file added here so now all you have to do is to go to layer, new layer, to create a new layer and you need to name this layer brush. It's very important that you type the brush exactly like this, all letters lowercase, otherwise the action won't work. Choose OK. And now you can just hit B in your keyboard to select the brush tool. You can choose any color here, color pick doesn't matter. And you can use square brackets in your keyboard to quickly change the size of the brush. And I can choose the hard or soft brush and just fill in your side with a color. What you can also do is to make a selection of your subject and then fill the selection with the color if it's easier for you. Right, so for example you would just need to to do that you would need to select the uh, background layer or your photo layer and use some of the selection tools like for example quick selection tool. In this case it's a little bit easier to select the background so you can use shift and delta option buttons to add or subtract the areas from selection. Quickly make the selection of your subject then press Control or Command Shift I on the keyboard to inverse the selection, and then select the brush layer and press Shift F5 to fill the selection with a Fourier color, and then Control Command D to deselect. So you can also do it in this way. You can of course make more precise selection, uh, but it's important that when you fill the selection, you have this brush layer here selected, right? So I need to have that color fill on this layer. So I already done the brush before, so I'm just going to open my PSD file. Here it is. So once more, it's important that you have this color fill of your subject on this brush layer. And all you have to do now is just select the action, uh, the vector art action inside the folder and click play. And I'm going to fasten the video here and I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished and then I'm going to go throughout all the layers to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it. <laughs> Okay, so the action has just finished, so I'm just going to close the actions panel now. And the first thing that you probably want to do each time you run the action is to just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you quickly do that? You just hold Control and Alt buttons for PC or Command Option for Mac. And while this folder is selected, just click on this arrow here. And that way you're going to close down all the folders. Right, so I'm going to start customizing this effect from the bottom. So here we got a background layer or the original photo layer. And the next layer we got here is the background color layer. So what you can do is you can just double click on this white box over here and you can simply choose any other color that you like. So uh, 
I'm just gonna choose this one All right and the next thing we got is the background texture so the background texture layer uh, also has this background texture color layer above it and this layer um, changes the color of the background texture and this color is the uh, average color of the complete design right so what you can do also is you can turn off this layer if you don't want to use this color and then you can select the background texture layer double click here on this layer thumbnail and you can then choose any other color that you like right I'm just gonna use default white color here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the opacity of this layer so every layer that you customize by changing the opacity you can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and dragging to the side like this or you can click on this layer here and then just move this slider around all right so I'm just gonna drop down the opacity like this and the next layer we got here is the splatter textures folder so they are fully layered and what you can do is you can turn them off and then start turning them on one by one and see how how they look and if you don't like it you can simply just hide the layer or what you can also do is you can select the layer mask of the specific layer choose a brush tool I'm gonna use the hard brush and set foreground color to black and then you can simply brush over the areas of this layer that you would like to remove All right just like that and I'm just gonna hide this layer and what you can also do is you can create a new layer here inside the folder and choose a brush tool set for going to color to black and you can now just choose any of these brushes right so the first four brushes are brushes without any settings all right so they're just um, when you brush you just brush and they're not changing their settings like the other four uh, brushes that are going to change the settings as you start brushing all right so for example if you use this brush you start brushing they're going to st start changing their size angle and other right so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna add a few more splatters um, around the subject just like that and maybe a little bit more over here what you can also do is you can transform many of these layers you can just press control or command T on your keyboard you can rotate this layer transform it and other so what you can also do is you can just pick some of this brush with, non set, uh, with no settings and you can for example brush like this right and then you can press control command T and further transform um, this layer as you like okay for example just like this okay and what you can also do is you can change um, the color of any of those layers so what you can do is you can just go to layer new fill layer solid color and just choose any color here and then just move this layer above the layer that you wish uh, to change the color All right so if you want to change the color of this layer you can just drag this layer about that one and then just press um, you can turn it on and press control command and alt option G on your keyboard to create a clipping mask and then what you can do is just double click on this color box and you can use any color that you like what I also like to do is to just um, 
choose some color from the subject using this color picker right just like this okay so I'm just gonna use the default colors um, in this example here so what you also have the uh, here is the uh, layer mask of the folder so if you brush with the black color into this layer mask you're gonna start removing all of the brushes um, all the spider textures inside the folder all right just like that the next layer that we got here is the subject stroke so this is just a solid color stroke um, around your subject and the next layer we got here is the subject folder and we got a two layers here and that is going to zoom in a little bit so what you can do is by changing you can hide this layer get it to get a little bit different art look All right with some examples this difference is going to be much more noticeable and with some examples it's going to be less so you can just try it out by hiding and showing this layer here so this layer here creates some more smooth lines and this one below and what you can also do is you can uh, leave this layer shown here and then just change the opacity a little bit to slightly change the art style All right and the next uh, layer we got here is the subject details folder all right so this layer is uh, hidden by default so these are just some uh, lines um, some rogue lines this one here are precise subject lines so you can use one of these two and you can use them both uh, however you like you can just test out see how it looks all right so you can play with the opacities of these layers here all right so these are the highlights of the subject Uh, these are the separate shadows right and here we got the layer it says real details brush white into a mask so with this layer here you can choose a brush tool you can pick hard or soft brush and set program color to white and wherever you brush you're gonna start revealing the details and the contours of your subject just like this right what you can also do if you just want to reveal the details of complete subject you can brush with the white of course or fill the uh, complete layer mask with the white but the quicker way to do it is to just shift click on this layer, layer mask to disable it all right so now this layer is fully visible over complete subject area and what you can do then is you can just change the opacity over here all right i'm going to leave it like this and next we got here is the text all right so what you can do you can select the folder here and you can move this text to position it wherever you like uh, but what you can also do is as this text is a fully editable text layers you can double click here you can type your own text and you can make any other text changes that you like you can change the font the font style the font size yeah, the other you can also select this folder here, press Ctrl Command T and then transform complete this text together with this shape. You can just select these two text, transform them separately. And what you can also do is you can change the font size through here. And when you click on this little arrow here, you're gonna see that both of these layers text layers have the drop shadow um, layer style and what you can do you can just double click on that on the drop shadow and you can choose any other color here that you like or you can make any other changes like the angle the opacity the distance and others so you can also change uh, the text color or here all right 
what you can also do of course is you can just press Control G on your keyboard to duplicate any of those text layers you can then type some other text and use more text layers if you like and you can just hide the text or some of the text layers and the text shape here um, you can double click on the color overlay click on the color box here and you can use any color to change the color of the text shape and what you can also do is you can just click here to unlink the layer um, and the layer mask and you can select the layer mask and press Control or command T on the keyboard and then you can just transform this rectangle and expand the area where we have these lines visible alright and then you can again just link these two so you can move them together right and what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna change the color of this part of the text right I'm gonna use this color here and The next what we got here are the color looks. Right? So as I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are four different set color looks that you can choose from. And all you have to do is to just select any of those color looks and simply turn it on, see how it looks. If you don't like it, simply try with another until you find one that goes best with your photo. What you can also do is you can turn on one color look, then turn on another one, and then you can just change the opacity of those two color looks and combine them. You can also, of course, combine more than two color looks. And this example, I'm going to use this color look over here. All right. And I'm just going to drop down the opacity a little bit. Just like that. Alright, and the next step we got here is the overall contrast. So what you can do here is to adjust the contrast, you just have to change the opacity. So I'm going to drop down a little bit like this. And here we got the overall vibrance. So you can just double click here and you can move this slider um, to adjust the vibrance and the saturation of your photo. Okay, and here we got the overall brightness. You can just double click on this layer thumbnail and you can adjust the brightness here using these sliders. All right, I'm just gonna leave it default. And the last layer we got here is that you can do if you want to get these spotter textures created um, as they are getting created randomly. If you want to uh, get a new variation, what you can do is just delete this folder play the action again you're gonna get a new unique variation but you can also create um, manually more spotter textures and adjust them as you like alright so let's just quickly check the before and after so this is the before and here's the after alright so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Invato profile page. Thanks for watching.